rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What mean you that you use this proverb concerning the earth, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, say the Lord God, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this problem in the earth. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sins, it shall die. But if a man be just, and do that which is lawful and right, and has not eaten upon the mountains, neither has lifted up his eyes to the idols of his house, neither has defiled his neighbor's wife, neither has come near to a menstruous, menstruous woman, and has not oppressed any, but has restored to the devil his pledge, has spoiled none by violence or deceit, has given his bread to the hungry, and has covered the naked with a garment. He that has not given forth upon usury or interest, neither has taken any increase, but has withdrawn his hand from inequity, has executed true judgment between man and man, has walked in my statutes, and has kept my judgments to deal truly. He is just, he shall surely live, saith the Lord God. If he begat a son that is a robber, a shedder of blood, and that doeth the like to any one of these things, and that doeth not any of these duties, but even has eaten upon the mountains, and defiled his neighbor's wife, has oppressed the poor and needy, has spoiled by violence, has not restored the page, and has lifted up his eyes to the abominable idols, has committed abomination, period. Has given forth upon usury or interest, and has taken increase, shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die, his blood shall be upon him. Now, though, if he beget a son, that seeth all his father's sins, which he has done, and considers, and does not such like, that has not eaten up the mountains, neither has lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house, and has not defiled his neighbor's wife. Neither has oppressed any, has not withholding the plague, neither has spoiled by violence, but has given his bread to the hungry, and has covered the naked with a garment. It has taken off his hand from the poor, it has not judged usury, which is interest, nor increase, has executed my judgments, has walked in my statutes, he shall not die for the inequity of his father, he shall surely live. As for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, spoiled his brother by violence and deceit, and sold things which were full of wickedness, and did that which is not good among his people, lo, even he shall die in his inequity. Number nine. Yet say you, why? Does not the Son bear the inequity of a father? When the Son has done that which is lawful and right, and has kept all my statutes, and has done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sins, it shall surely die. The Son shall not bear the inequity of the father, neither shall the father bear the inequity of the Son. 
The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed, and keep on my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. All his transgression, transgressions that he has committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord God? And not that he should return from his ways and live. But when the righteous turn away from his righteousness, and commits inequity, and does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, shall he live? All his righteousness that he has done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass, but he has trespassed. And in his sin, that he has sinned. In them shall he die. Yet you people say, The way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O mother of, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits inequity and dies in them for his inequity that he has done, shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turns away from his wickedness that he has committed, and does that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Number nine. Because he considers and turns away from all his transgressions that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet saith the people of earth, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of earth, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you. Old planet earth, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so inequity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. But why will you die, O planet earth? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves, and live you. Thank you, Jesus Christ the Lord. Abba, Father. Amen.